Hi guys, let us look at question 9 from November 2022 Physical Sciences. Let us get straight to the question. Question 9, the diagram below represents a simplified cell used for the electrolysis of concentrated what? Chromium chloride. We are given the formula for chromium chloride here. Electrodes R and T are made of what? Of carbon. So let's check what we have here. Once you see a power supply, once you see a power supply, we do have an electrolysis or electro, electrolysis. In fact, that's what we have there. All right. And therefore, this is T here and then this is R here. The concentrated is given this side. We are also given the net cell reaction here, which is 2CrCl3 aqueous, which will change to 2Cr solid and then 3cl which is a gas what are we then tasked to calculate here 9.1 with 9.1 we are tasked to do it to define the term electrolysis okay now electrolysis it's a chemical process so we can say this is the chemical process the chemical process what's happening here in which in which electrical energy electrical energy is what is converted to chemical energy is converted is converted to chemical to chemical energy to chemical energy all right that's how you get your two marks the chemical process in which electrical energy is converted to what to chemical what energy let's go to 9.2 we are then given a graph here the graph below not drawn to scale represents the changes in the mass of electrode t during electrolysis so what we need to look at here is the mass decreasing or increasing so we can see that from 2,2 the mass is what is increasing all right so our mass there is increasing and then how do you then increase if you are increasing or the electrode that will increase in the mass it means that it is cathode it is cathode and cathode what do we have there we have reduction what is reduction again it's gain of what of electrons so we have gain of electrons there all right we are given the time here in hours we need to be careful of that Remember, we normally use seconds here, so we will check if we are asked anything, we need to convert the hours into what? Into seconds. Now, 9.2.1 says write down the half reaction that takes place at electrode T. What did we identify here is that the mass was increasing. It must be a reduction, which happens at the cathode. It's a gain of what? Of electrons. So we need to go to our table now to go to our table now and look at chromium there is our chromium here so chromium is here if it is a reduction is cut and paste we just write it the way it is so it will be cr plus let us go to our question now it will be cr plus cr with a three plus and therefore our electrons there so we just cut and paste so it's cr three plus which is an aqueous solution can just fix that quickly which is an aqueous solution and therefore plus we have the three electrons and therefore what do we have now we have CR solid so we have CR which is what which is solid so for you get your two marks there so this is the half reaction this half reaction it's happening at which electrode at the cathode what do you know about cathode it is what it is re Reduction. It is reduction. Gain of what? Of electrons. Gain of electrons. Okay. Now let us look at 9.2.2. With 9.2.2, we are given that a current of 2 amperes or A passes through a cell in 10 hours. What are we supposed to do here? We are supposed to calculate the total charge. So we are looking for the total charge here. What do we then know 
Are we given the charge here? We are not given the charge. We don't know it. Are we given the current? The current is given as 2,5A. Are we given the time then? The time is given, but it's in 10 what? 10 hours. How do we then move from 10 hours to seconds times 60 times 60? Or you can say times 3,600. What is our formula then? It's charge equal to I change in what? Change in time. This is going to be 2,5, all right? And then we are going to multiply by 10 times 60 times 60. We go to our calculator here. We therefore check what we are going to get here. In fact, there's a zero missing here. Let's just fix it. Do not make the same mistakes I just made now in the exam because you're going to lose marks. All right. Therefore, we have in our calculator, we have 2,5. 2,5. We have 10, right, times 60 times 60. We can close the bracket here and then we get our answer. All right, our answer is 90,000 coulombs. 90,000 coulombs. So we can take it down here. It's 90, 1, 2, 3. It is coulombs here. If you take your calculator into scientific notation, you can get the answer as 9 times 10 to the power 4 coulombs as well. You are still correct. All right, let us move to the next question, which is 9.2.3. 9.2.3, they said we must calculate the value of x. Where is this x? From our graph. Remember, the x is from the graph there. Okay, as shown on the what? On the graph. So what do we need to do here? We need to then check what are we given on the graph. Let's check on what we are given on the graph here. On the graph, we are given the mass. We are given the mass on the graph. We're just looking at the graph. We are given, or in fact, the mass of the electron was 2,2. That's what we are given. And as for what is for T, this side, okay? So the first thing we can do is to look for the number of electrons. The number of electrons. That's what we are going to look for. The number of electrons because we know our charge is 90,000. So where do we start then? Our formula is N equal to... Q here, the charge over what? Over charge of an electron. Okay, therefore we can say equals to this one we just calculated now. We can use 9 times 10 to the power 4, or we can even use 90,000. 90, 1, 2, 3, okay? We say over the charge of an electron, it's 1,6. 1,6 times 10 to the power negative what? Negative 19. And therefore, we check what we have here. We go to our calculator. We go to our calculator. And we say, we do have the 90,000 there. We can just divide by, we divide by 1,6 exponent, right? Negative 19. Negative 19, we say equals to there. We get 5. 0,625. In fact, this is the same as 5,63. Okay, so it's going to be 5,63 times 10 to the power 23. Times 10 to the power 23. What are these? These are what are electrons. Okay, now we have those electrons there. What can we then look for? We can look for the number of atoms of chromium. So we can look for the number of atoms of chromium. So we have number of atoms of chromium there. You can just say it's our CR here. Okay, which formula can we use now? We can say, what do we know about this number of atoms here? We can have 5, 5, 0,63, all right, times 10 to the power to the power 23 over, we have what here? We have 1, 88 times 10 to the power to the power 23. What do we then get here? We just go to our calculator. We divide by that answer there because we have 5,6. So divide by 1,88 exponent 
to the power 23 as well. What do we get there? We have 2 comma 99. We have 2 comma 99. In fact, we made a mistake somewhere here. We made a mistake somewhere here. Let us just fix it quickly. We made a mistake somewhere here. We can just erase that. We made a mistake somewhere here. We need to look at this chromium here. The chromium that we had was chromium, chromium, which had three plus, so three electrons there. Can you see it? All right. And therefore, we have to divide by three here. We need to divide by three. So let's go to our calculator. We say 5,63 exponent 23 divided by 3. What do we then get? We have 1,88. So we have 1,88. 1,88 times 10 to the power 21, 23. Those are the number of atoms then. Now we can extend our page here. And therefore, we look forward for the number of moles. Number of moles. Don't forget the Avogadro here. Number of moles of Cr. Okay, number of moles of Cr equal to, we do have, right, and then the Avogadro here, and A. What do we then have? We know that we got 1, 8, the number of atoms there, 88 8, times 10 to the power 23 over the Avogadro there is constant. It's always in a formula sheet on a table of constants there. 6,02 times 10 to the power what, to the power 23. Right, and therefore what do we do now? We just go to our calculator. Just go to our calculator. We have the 1,8 there already. What we can do is to just, just to divide. We divide by 6,02. We have exponent 23. Okay, what do we then get there? We have 0 0,31, 0 0,31 moles. The number of moles for CR is what is 0 0,3, 0 0,31, which is what is moles there. Are we done there? We are looking for the mass, but not the what? Not the number of what? Not the number of moles. It will be easier for us now to get the mass because we know that number of moles for what? For CR, it will be equal to what? Equal to mass over the molar mass. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We can make M the subject of the formula. So M equal to number of moles times the molar mass. We come this side. We say the number of moles is 0 0,31. Plus the molar mass, you can just check it on the periodic table. It is 52 for chromium, and therefore we divide the two. We just divide the two. So we can come here and say, in fact, not divide, we multiply. We made a mistake somewhere here. This is multiplication. Multiplication, okay? We can just say multiplication here. Okay, we go to our calculator. We just say multiply by 52. What do we then get here? We get 16. It is 16,21, 16,21, in fact, 16,12, which is grams. But remember, we were given something there. We were given 2,2 before, so we must add that in our graph. So we're going to have m of x now will be equal to the 2,2 that was given before, plus what, plus the 16,12. What do we then get there as mod mass of x? And therefore, we can just add the 2 in our calculator. We can just add the 2 in our calculator. If we add the 2 in our calculator now, we have 2 comma 2 plus 16 comma 1, 2. What do we then get here? We have 18 comma 3, 2. So it's 18 comma 3, 2 grams. That's how you're supposed to do this question. It is for six marks. All right, grade 12s, that's how you should have answered question nine.